Terra Viva, a checkup on the environment. It's like wrapping gold. It's been stroked by the wind and it will feed humans. It's wheat. Mud, sand and gravel. I really feel I'm building a house that is at one with the earth. A house made out of straw. It's perhaps a surprising concept, but this type of ecological construction is going through something of a boom period in Europe, a century after the technique was imported from the US. We're in France, where around 700 such buildings are registered. As a material, straw has many plus points, notably the economic aspect, even if some experts urge caution. Christelle Dupont's been working on straw building sites since 2006. Straw and mud are only used for the walls, and a house, of course, is more than just walls. The walls account for about 15 to 20 percent of the total budget. It's very comfortable, and you make lots of energy savings. Over time, the house will more than pay for itself. There are different techniques, each with its own advantages. On this site near the Breton town of Dinan, the owners opted for a wooden structure to house the straw bales, which can be placed flat or on their ends. If we put them down flat, we'll get a wider wall, but one that will provide the same insulation, because flat the air gets in more easily, as it follows the horizontal direction of the fibres. But when the bale is on its end, the wall is thinner, but it offers the same insulation because with the fibres being vertical, the air finds it more difficult to get through. If anyone worried about a potential fire hazard, the solution is of course not chemical. The bales are simply dipped in a mix of water and mud or lime. This coating will provide a decent fire protection. Here we're soaking the side of the bale in order to protect it. If any humidity builds up inside the bale, it's not very good for the straw. Once dry, the bales are ready to be put into the wooden structure. They'll then be given another coating of three centimeters to regulate the temperature of the walls. This is the west-facing wall, so the wall that's most exposed to storms. This particular house is very tall, and being in Brittany, it rains a lot, so we'll put on a wooden siding to reinforce the gable. Straw houses are often the result of good teamwork, and the workers are in fact volunteers who have their own building projects finished or in the pipeline. Having worked on a few sites, it has made me even more keen to build my own house, just like this. A two-hectare eco-allotment's been built near the site. And straw isn't the only material they're using here. There's also a house made of hemp and several others out of wood. Pascal turned his passion for the environment into a profession. He's been an eco-builder for over 20 years. For me, straw represents a living material that you find in this house, but not necessarily in conventional houses. We needed about 150 bales of straw for the wood structure and about another 150 for the roof. The straw comes from a farmer who lives a kilometre away who sold it to us for around 300 euros. Not only are the materials eco-friendly, they're also local, so transport is cheap and doesn't leave a big carbon footprint.